To solve number 21, what you want to first do is observe the equation. As you can see, as you can see, this is a trinomial because there's x squared, x, and a 3. So assess the equation is equal to 0, so we can start factoring right away. Okay, remember to factor using the x method, a times c is on top and b is on the bottom. So a equals 2, b equals negative 7, c is equal to 3. a times c, which is 2 times 3 is 6, and our b value is negative 7. So what you want to find is what times what is 6, but if you add it, it's negative 7. So the numbers are negative 6 and negative 1. Now if we look at the a value. Since the a value is equal to 2, we're going to divide it by 2. Simplify, it's negative 3. So my two factors are x minus 3 and x minus 1 half, which equals 0. Now if you wanted to rewrite the second set because the denominator is 2, you can rearrange it and write x minus 3 times 2x minus 1 equals 0. Since these are the two factors, x minus 3 and 2x minus 1, you can have each factor equal to 0 for the 0 property. So you have x minus 3 equals 0, 2x minus 1 equals 0. So you can either include the parentheses or not, but you'll still get the same answer. So here we're going to add 3 on each side. And you get x equals positive 3. And to solve for x for this equation, you'll add 1 on each side. Then you notice you get 2x equals 1 divided by 2. x will equal 1 half. So your two answers are x equals 3 and x equals 1 half.